There were viewings at different locations for the state funeral of former Prime Minister Patrick Manning. One of them was Woodford Square. PNM supporters or those who were just fond of Mr. Manning took the time to be as close as possible to a man known to many as a great leader. For one last time, Mahalia Joseph reports. Although they could not be accommodated at the Trinity Cathedral, scores of people gathered at Woodford Square to view the state funeral of Mr. Manning. The square holds a significant value for the past Prime Minister, as his last swearing-in ceremony was done in front of the people who he worked tirelessly for. On Saturday, some of those same people came to witness his final farewell at the same spot. Angela Davies said she always loved and respected Mr. Manning, so she could not miss the opportunity to say goodbye. He has done so much of our country. We must be proud of, our, of him because he has done so much. We remember him always. I love him. I saw, I was standing out there and I saw the, the, uh, what it was, right? the coffin and the tears that came to my eyes to see him leave us. We really loved him and we we'll miss a great person. He was a Patriot. While the service went on, we spotted the Dr. Eric Williams impersonator, Lennox McEwen, who told us that on such a sad day, it was fitting to represent Dr. Williams. Deep with my I mean, the tears cannot drop from my eyes. It went inside of me. You understand, especially when I see the crowd and I drop in the butt. What to do? Your father knows best. Some described the atmosphere of the square. Or somber but very celebrant. People are celebrating quietly, but they're very sad that he has gone. But it's a kind of a fullness that we have because he has done his work. He has gone and he has done his work and he seems very satisfied to have done his work. Remember, it was not strong materialism, but he has left a great deal of wealth. It's a very solemn mood for the people of Trinidad and Tobago and Bookwood Square today. Yeah, this it is fitting that he rest in peace. May God bless his soul. He has done enough for the Trinidad and Tobago and the Caribbean at large. Others who spoke to us shared how they felt to bid farewell to Mr. Manning. When I saw him yesterday, I said that he and Diamond he was smiling. He died with a smile. He died with a smile. I watched at him good. Right? But life is like that, you know? He did so much for us. Mr. Patrick Manning, he, no matter how we try, he was still always, always be the, the father of the nation because what, if it wasn't for him, this country would have never be here today. Whether some knew him as Patos, Manning or simply Prime Minister, it's no doubt that he will be missed by citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. Mahalia Joseph, C News.